guys welcome back to my channel my name is musi q if you're new welcome if you're my returning subscriber thank you so much for tuning in i'm doing another series so sit back relax and enjoy the story i am so sorry to be doing this video right here because i'm currently at home and i left all my uh tribals and all that so it's at the house there's no good lighting so that's why i opted for doing this on my mom's car so yeah let's get into today's story because guys have coronavirus we've decided to go home okay so let's just do this um yeah she's on a lap okay so let's just get into today's story good day please hide me of which we will obviously we always hide people we always protect people we always protect the identity of people so um please hide me i'm a young female doing great uh nine i'm 16 years of age i stay with my three siblings i'm the first born my mother got me up before she got married to my stepdad so okay i'll shut up Mom is a full-time housewife. Her husband is a well-respected policeman in the community, which is the stepdad. Um, my friend advised me to write this to this group since I have Facebook, but I'm scared. My mother moved in with my stepfather when I was um, seven, seven years, and I've been staying with him ever since. Um, he's controlling. He told my mother to stop being a teacher and look after kids. Okay. I write this for advice, I don't know um, what to do and I have no one to talk to because my stepfather does not want anyone who visit. From the age of 8 years, my stepfather been molesting me until now. The first time it happened, I was 8 years, um, he called me to his room to wash his feet. When I was done, he told me to sit on his lap and then put me on bed and started undressing me. I still remember how shaking I was when he put his penis in, in inside me my mother was home oh okay my mother was home only left me with her husband because he because she trusts him i bled after he told me to go a bath and never tell anyone or he will kill me and my mother i felt dirty but i decided to keep it to myself every time mom leaves I know he will come to my room to rape me. That time I didn't understand rape until recently. I thought it's something that I did wrong. That's why he's punishing me. What's even worse is that I told mom. She told me never to bring this up. That time I was only 10 years old. I've been quiet ever since. Until I found a friend in grade 5 and started sharing my problem with her. But I'm scared can't even focus on school please help me i tried to take my life please somebody can't get me this is not home i think i think there's a possibility that your mother knows what your daddy does to you that's just my opinion i think your mother is scared to actually find out that your dad is really molesting you or just your mother is in denial but no mother would just tell you to no mother would just hush you about like about something like this like i don't know what to say about your mother i don't know what to say about my mother because remember you were only 10 years when you tried to tell her no kid of mine would tell me something like this and i not i i don't investigate this i would i would go extra mile to investigate this i i don't know what to say about your mother i am so sorry I am sorry that this is happening to you. I am sorry that um I am sorry that we're experiencing this thing. I am sorry that your stepfather is making you go through all this thing. I am sorry. I'm I'm just for, sorry for everything. I'm sorry and we can't sit here and say I understand the pain that you're going through because I don't. I'm not gonna say that. As much as he have taken like away your innocence. He have taken away your guys. Guys, learn to like. <sighs> I don't know what to say to you besides I'm sorry, and I know that at this point you don't want to hear I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know, but there's nothing that I myself can do. I'm gonna need to, to be very strong right now, 
I'm gonna need you to fight back. I believe you're still doing this. You are very old now. Like you know things. You're starting to say things. You're in grade nine. You are grade fifteen. You are very old. You are very old. Take your life back now. It's time to fight fire by fire. It's time to fight back. You can't allow this man to do what he does to you when you know what exactly he's doing to you. He's taking away everything. Your dignity, your everything. Like, you, you, you'll never be the same. Do not allow this man now because at this age you are very old. I think this is what I want you to do, ma'am. When he is coming, look, this is what I do when I, like, I feel some type of a way. I feel like I'm scared. I feel like there's something that's going to happen. I, we have a social media. Do something that is always been evidence. Don't go live. No. Now, this is what I do. I go live if I feel like. Let's say, for example, I get a, a, a lift. Because my tender height, I got a lift. And then if I feel like there's something weird happening, I go live so that people can actually see. Go to like, this is what happened. And eventually, it doesn't. Nothing happens. And then I just delete the live later on. This is what I want you to do. It's gonna be so hard like so Vuma, when he walks into your room take your phone record everything and know you can't you can't record like this no just like record and just put your phone away we'll hear everything i want to hear him say, forcing you we want to hear him because it's pointless now going to police to the police recording these it's pointless. Remember, he's a policeman. He's going to do everything on his power to make this go away. So now we need evidence. Mm -hmm. We need evidence. Do not ever allow this man to ever touch you again. Mm, record. Record. Have the evidence. Go. We are Bambisa. Because I can't do no with evidence. He can't make this go away. He can't do the recording. I would suggest you do that to nail this motherfucker station at this point you'll be wasting your time no one is gonna believe you because you have said he's a well respected man in the community and your mom didn't even believe you so imagine who's gonna believe you do the recording babes and i'm so sorry i i i pray my prayers goes to you like you're gonna be okay i'm sorry you're gonna be fine i hope you are watching this right now you are loved do not forget that you are loved. We love you out there. We do love you. So please be safe. Be safe, safe. Make sure that he doesn't see the recording. I love you. So guys, yeah. As I have read the story, guys, it's so it's so emotional. Please comment down below what you think a baby girl should do. Please tell her that we love her in the comments. We love you, baby. So yeah, guys, this is it for me. I will see you on the next video, as you can see. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.